what are you doing out here in the cold? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I think it's time that I learn more about this benefactor that's increased my health, magicka, skills. It's just not natural. Maybe this man can help me. And there it is, friends. The ugly truth. We are the children of man. Talos is the true. God of man, ascended from flesh to rule the realm of spirit. The very idea is inconceivable to our elven overlords, sharing the heavens with man. Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on earth. Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your homes? Your businesses? Your children? Your very lives? And what does the M? Uh, excuse come? me. You have come to hear the word of Talos. I've come for help. Someone, I think, has been trying to contact me to speak to me. Someone has been giving me what I would consider divine gifts. And I need to find out who it is. Could it be Talos? Could it be one of the other divines? How, how would I find out? What can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. I appreciate that. You also think that Perhaps going to the College of Winterhold might help. The mages there might be able to lend some insight onto what's happening. Thank you, Heimska. So rise up! Rise up, children of the Empire! Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of mighty Talos! He who is both man and divine! For we are the children of man, and we shall inherit both heavens and earth. And we, not the elves or their toadies, will rule Skyrim forever! Talos. Talos the mighty. Help me Talos find out unerring. who Talos the has been given me to you, we this divine give power. Praise. And deserve our praise, you do. What? Where am I? I was in front of the statue of Talos, and now I'm here. But this doesn't feel like Talos' work. And where is here? 
According to the sign, this is Winterhold. I'd spoken to Heimsker about Winterhold, and now I'm here. Who or what would have power to transport me like this? I haven't oh. seen you before. Let me make this clear. I make sure no harm befalls the library. You so much as lift a finger with ill intent. I'll do you in such a way that oblivion might as well be a theory as your rotting carcass. Understood? <laughs> Not exactly a warm welcome. If it's a warm welcome you're looking for, you've come to the wrong hole. Nothing personal, Sarah. Every other day, some stubborn Nord comes walking in, claiming these books must be burned, for they hold demonic secrets. I'd say they're entirely wrong about that. Doesn't give them the right to burn them, though. You mentioned a library. It's run by the Junal cult. Junal? An odd clique. For Nords, that is. Not meant as an insult, mind you. It's just that their interest in books and all is quite unusual for their kind. They're decent to me and the job pays well, so no complaints. Now, if you're interested in buying, you should talk to Skadi. And just what do you do around here, other than threaten people? I help the cult with guarding the library, as well as other tasks around town. Frode isn't always fair to me, but he pays well. Relatively. What can you tell me about Winterhold? Bit of a dump these days since the Great Collapse. Actually, now that I think of it, it was quite a dump back then, too. Albeit a more... intact one. There was a lot of bad history between Dunmer and Nords in this city. Most of my kind were purged from Winterhold long ago. I'm one of the few that remain. But I guess there aren't any Nords left either these days. One thing left that's worth a damn in this city is the college. Sure looks impressive. I've never set foot there, though I always wanted to. <laughs> well, I don't know why you wouldn't. But why did you decide to stay? The only people remaining in Winterhold are those too stubborn to leave. I was born and raised in this city. I won't allow others to bully me into submission. <laughs> From what I remember, and it's amazing that I have these memories, but... Dark Elves, Elves, you all have magical powers, so I don't understand why you wouldn't be welcomed at the college. But that's none of my business. I'm here for... something else. Boethia, guide your blade. Boethia. Hmm, interesting. The College of Winterhold. How much of our lives are spent Which way is it? Imagine what we could accomplish if we didn't need to. Right. This way, thank you. Don't just walk away from me. What do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink. Where else could I even go in this God's forsaken town? And what? You think that would solve all your problems? I lost my family years Probably ago. Not. Truth is, I don't really know what keeps me going. He said that this place looks like it's been rebuilt. You ask me, not enough of Winterhold fell off into the sea. <laughs> well, where are the parts that did? It looks like. Not a complete ruin. Very, uh, built up. 
They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Mm, Ulfric. <laughs> him again. I met him in Helgen. He ignored me. Hmm. This is where I'm being guided. It's almost as though my feet are moving under someone else's guidance. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. And what are you doing out here in the cold? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Um, well, uh... May I enter? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Well, I don't really know what I expect to find. Maybe I just want to see what it looks like inside. Huh. Humor is often in short supply here. I wasn't being but funny. But I sense that perhaps you're after more than just that. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question really? now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Okay, uh... My magicka has been... Increased by something, someone. I'll take your test. Excellent. The flame atronach is a vital flame companion atronach. for anyone relying on conjuration. Oh boy! Summoning one here would certainly show your skill. Um. Well, I I don't know that spell. No. Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere thirty gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Well, I happen to know that 30 gold would be a bargain. Spells like that go for much more. All right, then. I'll, I'll buy it. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. I'm anxious to see me cast it, too. The college is an asset to Skyrim, even if it goes I, unnoticed. I or believe I can. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Is this why my magic was... Enhanced, so I could pass this test. Amazing. I really don't know if I was able to do this before I woke up here in Skyrim. Somehow I don't think so. It's like I've been given gifts. But by who? I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm lost in thought here. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in my Much life not. right now. What? I'll just go on ahead. You know, you're quite tall. I know high elves are supposed to be tall, but you seem taller than most. Huh? Huh. Go 
ahead, do your thing. Thank you. Hello. Well, you seem small. Let me give you a bit of advice. Really? You want to work on something that's not officially allowed? Don't tell anyone you're doing it. You need something you're not officially supposed to have? You come see me. You tell anyone that I told you, and I'll fry you from the inside out. Got it? Hmm. Okay. Uh, just love coming here to win a hold and being threatened by everybody. Oh, you gotta love this place. Oh, colorful. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. He's another pleasant person. Um, excuse me, are you Mirabelle? Welcome to the college. Thank you. At least you're nice. I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Mm -hmm. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Um, sure. I'd love to have a look around. Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. What do you know about the Divines? I think I'm being guided. But I'm not sure who. Somehow, by visiting the Shrine of Talos, I triggered something, but I'm not sure what. Hmm. All right, well. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. This feels off. Seems like my room should be here. But this is a cooking area. Huh. Even with the college's laid back attitude, there are still some things that Look, are off limits. I don't feel like being threatened right now. Have a good day.
Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Was that in those fancy robes? The Archmage. Hmm. Okay. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Well, thank you for the tour. Suppose I should put these uh, robes on. Something familiar about this, this room. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? <laughs> You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Um... Really, I'm, I'm not sure what to think. I'm not really sure why I'm here. But, um, yeah. Not going to weigh in either way? I admire your restraint, but there are times when you must make decisions, even without all the facts. Rely on instinct. We're all pretty new at this, right? Let's just give it a chance. What's the worst that could happen? All right, let's settle down. <laughs> I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Um, I, I don't know any ward spells. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way.
Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Um, we got this man in the way. All right, here we go. Hold oh, still. excellent work. Nice. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. All right, everyone. That's all for now. Keep it up. This Argo continues to struggle with wards. You have time to practice? Good Maybe to see later. Skyrim I'm still has some busy fine now. people. Just you give an old states. man hope. You hesitate because uh, you're excuse not me, professor. Be better than you. <laughs> professor. Good. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. I've been guided here for some reason. I'm wondering if you could help me. That there's something that's giving me power. I need to communicate with it. Well, I suppose I'll just try to learn what the, the college has to offer then in the meantime. Since you clearly have no idea what I'm talking about. So, I'm ready for my next lesson. Ah, oh, excellent. Very good. Today, I'll teach you a useful spell that might just save your life. If you should ever fall into a river, you'll be very glad you learned it. And what spell is that? I will teach you how to breathe underwater. This is exciting, isn't it? Oh, I suppose it's at least interesting. What do I need to do? Here, take a look at this. Just let me know when you're ready to practice the spell, all right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Give me a moment. Professor. The college will be here for you no matter what. We always look after our own. I've learned how to cast a spell. Can I breathe underwater now? That's what this lesson is for. Perfect time to try it out. Hmm. I think perhaps you could help one of our scholars. Ah, yes. Find Anil Gain. Look around. I'm sure you'll find him. He'll show you what to do. All right, so it looks like I'm here to learn all that I can at the college. And with that knowledge, perhaps I can contact the benefactor.